Yeah, well, I don't know. I know that I was drug tested twice at work for being too happy at five o'clock in the morning. And the thing is, I would have believed it was random. They said, oh, yeah, it's random. But, but it was twice in one month. And I was thinking, yeah, yeah it's because I'm black and I got dreads, that's why. But, yeah. Um, and some people have been there, like, years and never been tested. So, yeah. but, yeah, I just take it with a pinch of salt, really, because I know that I'm a teetotaler now. But the thing is, that's what I'm saying. If I was in Jamaica and somebody offered me a, a spliff and a drink, and I was thinking, no, I just can't do that. Because <laughs> my reality is... I, and I never had a problem with weed. I like puff in the morning and puff at night. But with this stuff, you're not, it's total abstinence. So if I have weed, um, is it a friend with weed is a friend indeed. No, no. If I had that, then a light switch would go off in my head thinking, hmm, it'd be a good idea to drink. And then I would drink and then I would drive the bus drunk and then I would be killing people and ending up in jail. And that sounds like, that's a bit extreme, but that's what would actually happen. I mean, I've got two drink driving convictions and a road rage conviction. People wouldn't get on my bus if they realised that I had that. The reason I've got that is because there's a statute of limitations. So, not statute of limitations, there's a Rehabilitation of Offenders Act. So anything that happened over five years before you got the job, then it's, it's spent, basically. So those convictions were spent. But, I, yeah, I've got an AVH conviction. Like, some woman tried to say that I tried to steal her camera or a but I didn't basically she was taking pictures of me while I was driving I'm thinking why are you taking pictures of me when I was driving I mean I was a bit paranoid I had a five-seater car but I had about 10 people in there and a dog oh, no. so, <laughs> so um I swear I got paranoid so I was like went out to like why are you taking pictures and she's like <coughs> so I'm thinking right I'm gonna stop this woman taking pictures I'm actually gonna take your key out your car so I went to take the key out and then she started winding my hand up in the window so I'm like trying to come out there's a bystander saying oh that I was doing that but no I was trying to get out so um, then I like drove off and then I remember I was doing my friend's hair, I could do a little bit of hair as well. And then the police knocked and oh God, they came in like plain clothes as well. So yeah, I knew I was in trouble. And I got a good solicitor because they managed to get me. Um, I mean, I wasn't guilty. I'm thinking I'm not pleading guilty to something I didn't do. So they put me, I think it was a suspended sentence for, for two years. I had a drug rehabilitation requirement. I had to be on probation. I had an ankle bracelet for three months and I had all this stuff. She, it's like, and I think because I was pregnant, luckily if I wasn't pregnant, I, don't, I think I'd go to jail. I thank my youngest son actually. He stopped, he spared me jail. But um, yeah, and it was terrible because I was, like I said, I was struggling with addiction at the time. So um, I remember when going to probation, I'm thinking right, if I use this day, I wonder if it'll come out in my place the next time I go. And, oh, it's a hard work being an addict in, Inactive addiction is very hard work. It's so much better this way. It's like being on benefits. When you don't have benefits, that you don't have to answer to anyone. But if you're getting something for someone, you've always got to answer to someone. Thank God I don't have to pay bedroom tax or answer to probation or, or um, yeah, there's just so much stuff that if I knew it was going to be like this, I would have done this sooner. I really would have. Now, when I get my 25 years long service awards, I'm going to be an old bag of 66. I didn't start work until I was 41. So, but better later than never, I suppose. Better late than never. So they convicted you of uh, ABH. Is that actual bodily uh, yeah, harm? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't even do that. I didn't do it, man. I didn't do it. And um, but she was white and I was black. So there you go. Do you feel like and it was I said, quite? It was Jacqueline quite... Kelly. <laughs> want to find out where you live? <laughs> no, I won't say too much because. <laughs> but yeah, that was jarring, man. That was so. And I couldn't get a job for ages. I tried to be a nurse. Um, then um, they said that because of that. They, that I'd have to do some extra thing for me to get into medical school. So I just thought, oh, I'll forget that. And then anything I put in for, because of this conviction, I couldn't do it because you had to disclose. And then once they saw this, it sounds like it was some long rap sheet, but it was only three things. But um, still made me look like the criminal that I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't a criminal. A drink driving, gosh. Is that, is, that, it, yeah. is that drink driving twice in the ABH? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I remember I got a drink drive in 97 and I was banned for a year and I got a £150 fine. I think I was reversing into a main road with no lights on, and I think I had about 1,000 people in the car again still, so I'm too friendly. <laughs> Tash Uber in the house. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> and then I remember it was in Stoke Newington, they were saying, oh, yeah, you've got to come get breathalyzer. I said, no, I don't want to be the next victim of dying in police custody. So um, I had to go to court, I think, in Highbury the following day, and they banned me. And they said, <clears throat> they said, um, yeah, they said, years ban, and I said, okay, don't worry, I will never drink again. I remember a year after getting 
um, the band had finished, you had to apply for the, your license and you only got it for a year. And I said, oh, I'll never drink again. And after eight months, I got banned again for the same thing. And they said, because it was in, because it was within a year, you'd mandatory ban of three months and I got three, three years, sorry. So I got three year ban, um, 150 pound fine, 350 pound fine that time. So I wasn't driving for like six years and my dad was saying, oh, dad, are you going to drink? Are you going to drive? I said, oh, I'll, I'll drink then. So he drove away my orange beetle, turned it into a tiger by drawing black lines all over it. And um, yeah, I miss driving, man. Because when I started driving again, um, I hadn't been on the road for about six years. So in the first month, I was getting like 500 pounds worth of fines. Like, for, oh, like oh, it was crazy when I started driving again. Is that kind of like cameras and bus Yeah, lanes yeah, and... there was, the, the road had changed. Um, so yeah, 500 pounds. Luckily, I had a credit card to pay it off with. But, but, um, but yeah, it's um, now, it's like now because I'm driving professionally, um, to me, like, well, I was like, I have to stay sober now. <laughs> it's like, my kids are like, oh, yeah, you can stay sober for your job, but you couldn't stay sober for us. They haven't said that. That's what I imagine they're thinking. But, um, but it's good because my grandson's never going to see me drink. My youngest son, like, he's, even though he's cleaner than me because he's, like, nearly 12 and I'm just 10, I had a little blip when he was 11 months and then it took me. And that's the thing because I've been in and out of recovery. So I had, like, five months, then I had 10 months, then I had nearly three years. And then because I... Like they say you can have an off day, but you can't have a day off. So that one drink in three years, I couldn't get back for about four years. I was trying to stop and I couldn't stop again. So it's a horrible illness, but at least I've got this, um, this recovery thing that I can combat it with. So yeah, yeah oh, just, just, just don't do it. Don't do it. Cause um, yeah, it robs you of your life really. It just robs you of the day. I tell you, if I did it now, I probably wouldn't even get Get back. I'd rather just throw myself in front of a train. It'd be better committing suicide, really. And I don't even want to say that lightheartedly. In fact, I'll probably jump into the Thames because people who jump in front of my train on the way to work, I'm like, that's very selfish. You need to, like, jump into the Thames. Unless you're a good cold water swimmer, then it's not going to work. So, yeah. <laughs> OK, so on my mind, this I've, I've got to ask, why, why were there 10 people in the car? Because <laughs> I was... <laughs> because I had... I think I had about three of my five kids... A friend, his friend, his friend's son, a dog, a sister, and my partner. There was about ten of us in the car, wow. so I just got paranoid. Is this in the in the orange? No, this wasn't oh, in right. the orange. Yeah, this wasn't the, no, yeah. was in the orange. No, it was in a Ford Escort. Oh, all right, yeah. so that's a van, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, no, it was a Ford Escort. Um, oh, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah the old Ford saloon, Escort, yeah. which I ended up crashing, and I didn't realise I'd crashed it into a bus of all things. Oh, no. This was years ago. I remember I was on my way, and this was when I was, yeah, see what I mean, drink driving, it's not good, man. Because yeah. I was on the, the way to pick up my partner and my two youngest kids from Kent, from Tooting. So I'm driving, and I don't, I must have fallen asleep, I must have, because I, all I remember is I woke up and I saw this bus coming towards me. So I've swerved out of the way, driven off, and then this man comes to me saying, oh, you know you're not supposed to drive off on the scene. And I thought... Fuck you, bitch. And then I drove <laughs> home. I say drove home, I cronked out in Stratton. When I got out of the car, there was only three wheels on the... So I was wow. driving around with three wheels. One of the tyres must have come off. And I remember they sent the police round. Um, and I said, oh, my dad was driving. <laughs> <laughs> so they sent them round to Hackney, but my dad was actually living in Gambia at the time. Oh, God. My life has been a nightmare. It really has been terrible. <laughs> God, it's just been full of, like... Ups, downs, all arounds. Um, in the end, they um, luckily nothing happens because I'd, I'd sort of like put them off the scent. But the thing is, when I was in recovery, you've got to like own up to all these things. So I ended up writing off to them saying, oh, yes, um, back in this day, like I, I was. And they said that I should have reported it within 24 hours. And because I didn't, I got away with it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> who, who have you got to write it to? Is it hey? the police? Or? Yeah, well, I decided to call the police, but they say, like, be honest, but don't be too honest. Like, you don't want to end up in jail. you got five kids to feed. Yeah. So, <laughs> but luckily nothing came of that. But, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's life, man. It can be tough. Like I said, people, it seems like everyone else has a rule book or has a, a guide of how to do life. And I just feel like I grew up and I just didn't know how to live. And I just made all these silly mistakes and decisions and, choices. I think everything in my life is from a thought or a choice that I've made. So everything in my life that's happened now. And sometimes I feel like these kids that I've got, and don't get me wrong, I love them. I wouldn't be without them, but I could have done without them. It's like sometimes I think I woke up out of a drunken stupor, like, 
with these five kids looking at me like, where did they come from? I don't even remember having you. So, and I think I'd be rich. If I didn't have kids, I'd be rich, man. I need to grow some extra nipples so that they can suck me dry <laughs> even harder. Like, it's so expensive. It's like, yeah. I'm paying for drama school for my youngest kid and that's like 1,500 a year minimum. And like, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot, man.